Hey, so today's video is going to be a little bit more different. Um, I'm going to be making some actual paintings, like on a canvas. The theme is going to be a lot different for me and for you too, because I have never done this on my channel before. So let's get into it. So as you can see, these are the supplies that I'm going to be using. I'm using these paints. They are by Dollar and Rowney. So I started off by placing two cups as a stand for my canvas. So the three paintings that I'm going to be doing are going to be quite different from each other. Each one will be done in a different technique. So the first one is called the sponge method where you basically put a bunch of paint on the canvas and then you use a sponge to blend the colors around. But you might be thinking, what? Well, but you're using a palette knife. Well, that's because in the beginning, in the beginning, I decided that I was going to make this painting using the palette knife method. But later on, I switched and made this the sponge method. One thing that I wanted to say was that these are all going to be abstract paintings, but I want you to guess what other techniques I'm going to be using in this video and comment down below. So I failed to press record when I was painting the background on this second painting. So yeah, so this is the second painting and for this painting I'm going to be using the same technique that I started out with the last painting, like the one that I did in the beginning of the last painting, which is called the palette knife method. I also added a big black heart, which I think doesn't look all that great, but I guess it's okay. Okay, so for the next painting I decided to use the stencil method which doesn't fall under the abstract category, but I wanted to try it anyways. So I'm going to use colors that are bright because the background is already quite dark. So the paint is now dry and as you can see when you peel the stencil off it doesn't look too perfect but it's okay. So the results are in and it's not perfect but it looks good enough to the point where, I, where it can be easily fixed. But it did take a lot of time though so I, off camera I finished it up and here it is all finished. Okay so let me give you a tour or an update. So we have the green one and then we have the one which I did with the palette knife and then a big black heart in the middle and then we did one with the stencils. Um, they're all finished and dried and I think they all look pretty good. Um, I like that we have one that has bright colors, one that has greenish colors and then one that is more darkish. I really like how all of them turned out. 